Hi guys, welcome to Underpark Golf. My name is Ferret and I will be your playing partner today. Today we will be speaking about the chip shot. It's one of the most important shots that you have because if you make a mistake on the golf course you need to be able to rectify it by up and downing with one of these clubs next to the green. Now there are two type, types of shots that you can play with a normal chip shot. These shots are more based on a higher handicap so that we can get you to just start up and downing your shots, making those putts, putting it close to the, to the holes and making your putts. Now the thir first one that we have for you is you put, a, you put the club neutrally in the middle of your stance Neutrally hands just in front of you, going back like a normal putt, not cocking your wrists and going through the shot, which will help you to get it on the green and releasing it towards the hole. I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Get about three feet from the hole, just got it on the green, let it release out. Now, a lot of people want to look cool, they want to do the good thing, they want to do the badass thing. And what that means is they try to get the ball to hop and stop directly. It's a bit harder to do and if you're a 16, 17, 18 handicapper, it's not that easy and you will be struggling. Now what I have for you, the other one, Gene, that was a 60 degree wedge. Also what you can do is, and this is, a, this is a very good option for somebody who's playing golf at a 16 to 20 handicapper. Because you, won't, you will have the confidence to get the ball on the green. Now what that means is that you won't be duffing shots and you won't be making bad shots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an 8 iron just to show you guys how it works to get this thing near the hole. See what happened there? I played a low shot, I got good contact because it's an 8 iron just playing it down like, like a little a big putt. Type of thing. Did, uh, check a little in the fringe because I landed it on the fringe so it came a little bit short but it's a it's a shot that you know you will have a chance to make in your part which with a lob wedge you're not always that sure now the other shot that you can have with lob wedges are the one that you get to hop and stop we call it the hop hop stop now what that means is you put it in still in the middle of your stance don't try to be fancy and put your hands let me just turn this way for you guys put your hands 45 degrees front putting your ball on the back foot you're just going to duff it, you're going to tooth it, you're going to make mistakes and you're going to get very, very frustrated with yourself. Now what you want to do is, you want to put it still in the middle of your stance, taking your hands, moving it just to the front part of your thigh. From there you can just go back, not cocking your wrists, just keeping it nice and straight and coming nice and forward and make sure that you tell your brain or mentally tell yourself that you want to hit the ball first, trying to let the, you brush the grass in front of the ball. What that would mean is it'll come out a little bit lower than the first shot I hit, still going on the green, getting a bit of spin and then just releasing out to the hole. Now it's going to be a little different, the greens are hollow tiny here today at Porchesturum, but I think I can still show you what I mean. So you just hop, get, got that little bit of spin and then release that. Now on this shot, make sure that you do have something to clean your bruises otherwise you will lose that spin now the last one that I have for you is a, a nice little flop shot it's a very hard shot to play and you play it a lot like a bunker shot the two pros enjoy to play the shot because it's a very attractive shot to play now if you are not happy or not confident with the lob wedge please do not try it until you have mastered the previous shot that I showed you you're just gonna get frustrated now what you have to do is you have to put your your ball on the front foot a little bit 45 degrees out with your stance and opening the club face before you grip it otherwise you're just going to close again through impact of the ball so you can open it stand your 45 and then you have to make sure that you um, go through the shot you have to commit to the shot otherwise you're going to have a half shot you're going to fall off it or you're going to tooth it over the green and you're going to get frustrated as well so you have to make sure that you commit to the full shot and on this shot, you may have a little bit of wrist cocking to make sure that you get underneath the ball and flush it out of there. Nicely up through it, getting onto the green. Thank you for watching the show, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something today. Take it out to the chipping green, practice it before you take it onto the golf course. Now, if you liked it and enjoyed it, please go like 
the Facebook page as well as the Instagram page. Also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now we will be in the coming few weeks, we'll be having a few guest stars and having a few interviews as well as having a lot of great content that you can use to change your game. Now I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you know that sports can change the world. <laughs>